Guys, I am super excited about my client today. I want you to take a look at this, that the skin is starting to grow up on top of the nail plate, turning our involuted nail into an ingrown nail. So we're going to apply an Onifix band, which is going to retrain the growth. And then we're also gonna apply a distal half band to relieve some of that pressure as well. So pretty much I'm gonna be his favorite person after 30 minutes. Let's get started. Now that I've successfully prepped the nail, I'm now gonna go ahead and move forward with my Onifix process. Starting off with degreasing the nail with alcohol. You wanna use at least 70% or greater for cleansing the toenail. I prefer using a nylon brush, that way I don't have any lint that is compromising my application. I can tell that my client's foot is very inflamed. We've helped reduce some of that pressure, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use Onifix Hard and apply it to the proximal end, and then I'm also going to do a second band right here to help relieve some of that pain, giving him instant relief. So we're gonna go ahead and apply two bands. Now that we've degreased the nail, we are going to take our primer, again, less is more, one drop in the cap with a clean Q-tip, gonna swirl that Q-tip inside, make sure I got some primer, and apply the primer to the entire nail plate. This is going to help with my product bonding. So be sure not to skip this step. Make sure you get it in that lateral fold, and if you get any on the skin, just use the other end and clean it off. I'm now gonna grab my flashlight and cure the primer for 60 seconds. Today I'm gonna go with Onifix Hard because we are working with a thicker nail. This composite is more like a putty, so one little full turn is one millimeter worth of product. Since this is a larger nail plate, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more, taking my spatula and just scraping it against the container. I always wanna put my cap on right away because I don't want the air to start drying out my product. Now, this is a putty consistency. So I am going to use the warmth of my client's nail plate to just start to soften this putty as I make a tubular band. So what it's really gonna look like, I shared with him, is that it's gonna look like a macaroni noodle on his nail plate. So as it gets warmer, it gets more pliable. And I am going to make a band that is two millimeters wide by two millimeters high. I'm going to gradually be moving that up the nail plate. And this is why it's important not to put too much primer because we don't want this band to be sliding all around the nail plate. We wanna make sure that the composite is able to bond properly to the nail plate. So as I push it around, I don't want the composite to touch the skin. I wanna make sure it's also straight across and uniform. That way, as he's wearing boots and living daily life and working, that as his foot is taking impact, that tubular band is going to be able to flex with the nail. Two millimeters by two millimeters as close to the proximal fold, making sure there's no divots. The more you work with the product, the easier it becomes and try to just create a uniform shape. If you have a spot that's more sparse than another, when that foot takes impact, it's going to have a greater chance of dislodging. So having a uniform shape really helps with keeping the band intact to the nail plate. We don't want it to prematurely dislodge. Now that I've applied the Onifix Hard, I'm gonna let it go ahead and cure with my LED light for 60 seconds. So after I've talked with my client about how much pain they're feeling, I really want to give them some relief. So I'm going to apply a half band to the distal end of the nail. I just need a little bit of the hard and be sure that you have a different spatula because that way I'm not contaminating the Onifix too. And the same process of doing my full band, I am going to warm up that product, create a tubular shape that's very important, and I am going to get it as close to that lateral fold as possible. All right, you could also use the Onifix Soft as well and do a double band because two bands of soft is as strong as one hard band. 
Now be careful when you start patting it, all right? This is an acrylic, we're not patting it. We don't want it to be flat. We really wanna keep that tubular macaroni shape because that's what's also going to help keep the band in place. Now, I am only putting this band here to help my client have instant relief because they came in with pain and I want them to leave with no pain. I want them to be a believer in the product. So with that being said, because this band is so far to the distal end, there's gonna be more movement. And because there's more movement in the nail, there's gonna be more bending. That bending means it's going to pop off within about a couple days to a week. So they should not be surprised that if in a couple days it falls off. If it falls off, it has already done its work. What it's just doing right now is using light tension to lift the nail plate from that nail bed ever so slightly because there's a lot of movement underneath to give that inflamed tissue um, a break. But I am now trying to get the band as close to that fold with a little bit of taper. That way as it grows out, it doesn't get stuck on bed sheets or sock. Keeping the macaroni shape, two millimeters by two millimeters. And I'm gonna make it a little longer because I have extra product and I know my client has a lot of discomfort. So usually this just needs to go right in between half. Just gonna taper that a little down so it doesn't catch. Again, setting realistic expectations for our client so when it comes off, they understand that it wasn't, that the product wasn't secure. It's just that we don't have a long life expectation for this band. So for usually for the distal band, you would just go from the lateral fold to middle. I had a little more product, so I just extended it out. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do this. I just didn't want to waste the product. So now that I have the, my band in place, I'm going to take my LED light. And for 60 seconds, I am going to cure the composite. Make sure you're about two inches away. The band that is towards the dorsal end will be coming off in the next couple days. It is very important to communicate that to your client. The band in the back for the proximal area should last for at least three to four months. For whatever reason, if it dislodges, then your client needs to come back for reapplication. During that reapplication, you are going to place the band back at the proximal end, not where the band had fallen off. That's really important because that correction really needs to happen at that matrix level where we're freezing the nail plate and allowing it to grow out. Guys, that was so exciting. My client is feeling great. I have relieved that ingrown toenail and I just made over $120, right? He feels like he got a deal. I made $120. I am super excited. If you like videos like this, please go ahead, like and subscribe and I will show you more about my dry pedicure and how Onifix can either save you from those ingrown toenails or make you money with application.